In a stunning move that sets the world's religions into opposing camps, Abraham ejects his firstborn son Ishmael and Ishmael's mother Hagar into the desert. The ostracized mother and son evolve into what we now know as the Arabic nations and from them the Muslim world. From Isaac, Sarah's son, the Jewish nation begins its arduous journey across the Middle East into Egypt, settling into Israel. Christianity arises. Now, five or six thousand years later, here we are with Abraham, his wife Sarah, and his second son Isaac. What if Hagar and Ishmael came back for dinner? No, 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 I mean, come on, you've been on the phone all afternoon. You don't have that many friends. How can you talk to that? That's right, I've got to make an effort. This is family time. Isaac, do not use your phone as a table. Please. Mother, will you tell me? Ah, come on. Come on, eat. Eat. I your mother's delicious. She makes it especially for you, and all the good stuff in there. Tastes great too. Try it. I'm not hungry. Ma, come on. Ooh, what is so important? Uh, having a conversation. Yeah? You upset my stomach so much. I'm trying to enjoy the mother's soup. Get him some milk. I had the chest of the boy. Get him some milk. Don't ask him. Get him some milk. Oh, let's look at him. Hey, guy. Ishmael. Please, don't make a fuss. No fuss at all. What I mean is. It's wonderful to see you. So, uh, how's the... Uh... What? The desert? Oh, sorry, Hagar. Abe can be so thoughtless. Sorry to have brought it up. Never mind. Oh, come on, let's all have a nice dinner, huh? You want some wine? We don't drink wine. You want some beer? Thanks, Ma. See what I mean? Well, let's uh, see if we've got some grape juice. Sarah? Sorry. Do you want me to get some water? No wine with dinner. What a sad, sad, sad bunch of... <laughs> What'd you do that for? Until he apologizes. Ha! Huh. Sit down, both of you. Sarah! I am not eating in the same room as her. Ha! Huh. For God's sake, sit down. All of you, come on, let's eat together. Oh, now I've got heartburn. You want I should get you some milk? No. 
What I want is for everybody to eat together in peace. So, why did you really throw us out into the desert? Uh, look, it's, uh, it's complicated. Look, look. We are all just sitting nicely. Yes, there's plenty of food and room for everyone now. Everyone. So, let it drop. Forgive? <laughs> Maybe. Forget? You have got to be kidding. I am not making with a joke. Seriously. What's it going to take for us all to get along? My own place wouldn't be so bad. <coughs> Isaac, do mm. you have something to say? <laughs> Jesus Christ! I forget you're just kids! <laughs> What the hell is this? You called me. Did I? Oh, maybe. What the hell are you doing here? We're all family. Jesus, we haven't seen you in such a long time. Please sit, eat. Yes, such a good Jew. So, uh, you think we're related? So many generations, it's hard to keep track. Isaac, you said such a good Jew, sarcastically. What are you inferring? You got people worshipping you. They build idols of you, your, your mother. You got any sisters? Bad Jew. Not my fault. You should talk to that Paul fellow. And maybe the Romans. They love sculpture. Ah, uh, idols. Boy, did I get in trouble for that. Let me get this straight. You kicked me and my son out of our home and then expect me to forgive you. Is that right? I know. It's funny because the first commandment is not to have idols, right? <laughs> I know. Not a rabbi for nothing. See? We do agree on something. There is irony here. Isn't that nice? Nice schmice. Do you have any idea what it was like being thrown out into a land without water, food? Oh, okay, okay. I was just following orders. Right. Blame it all on God. Don't you take that tone with me. And where is God now? Here. And here and here and everybody's Don't heart. speak to my father that way. Show some respect. I would if he showed me some respect. And he's my father too. Bloody hell. Yo, buds, my brothers. Stop it. Yeah? Stop this. Oh. Oh, let me up. Say please. When I resurrect. God, I could use a little help here. That's a prayer? Are you praying? I think maybe you've forgotten how to pray right. Of course I pray. Nothing. Nothing? What's up with that? Aren't you God's BFF? BFF, what is that? Best friend forever. Where is he, BTW? Stop with the TLAs, FGS. FGS? For God's sake. What's a TLA? You don't know what a TLA is. What the is a TLA? Three letter acronym. Mm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, we shouldn't have come. Oh. No, no. You did right. We need to see each other. Maybe, maybe we can make this work. Maybe we can all get to the point of kindergarten where we use our words instead of our fists. This is all my fault. I should never have... Isaac, what is that hole doing in the backyard? Holing? There's not enough room. I was gonna... Enough room? It's getting crowded. <laughs> We've got you surrounded. You'll never have any room. My aunts and uncles bought up all the property in the neighborhood. <laughs> there you go. It's true. I married the local real estate agent. I am shocked. Oh, give it up, Abe. 
Do you have any idea what century this is? It's the century of the tweet, and I'm going to tweet you. Oh, give it up, Father. <laughs> Nobody's going to tweet anything. This is a family affair. What have I done to deserve this? What have you done? Nothing. Maybe it's because you have not taken care of, of, of your public yeah. relations. Yes. And I'm afraid belief systems are in rather wretched disrepair. Oh yes, a carpenter lecturing us on the anthropology of religion. <laughs> Don't blame me for your problems, I might have some insights for you if you actually oh, listen. Oh, look, man. If you can't make something better, then don't put other people down. Oh yeah, like you're taking responsibility. Oh, look who's talking! What, me? Stop, huh. stop, stop! With this bickering. Maybe we should play a nice game? Yeah? Nice game? <laughs> well, I have got something I've been working on. Good. I'd like to try it out. All right, everybody, let's, uh, let's help clear the table. Maybe Isaac's game is a good idea. This looks like fun. What is it? Well, it's something I've been working on for a while. It's called Religionopoly. How do you win? Well, it's, it's similar to something that you've probably already played, but instead of money, whoever has the most believers in the end wins. Ah, so the currency is... Believers. Believers. And the houses, well, they're... Like mosques, synagogues, churches, temples. There's a go-to-hell corner. <laughs> and there's the in-hell corner, which means there's a get-out-of-hell card. Nice collection plate in that corner. And instead of go, rebirth. I like this. I like that very much. What kind of markers do you have? Well, I've got uh, Krishna, Buddha, um, Bodhi Tree, Starring Crescent, Angel. Anything for Shinto atheists? Anything for Taoists? Oh, no, sir, I don't worry about the Taoists. You know what they're like with their yinning this and hey, yanning babe, that. Hey, uh. hey, hey. <laughs> it's just a game. Just have some fun. Just look. Look at the kids. They're having such a nice time. Don't spoil it. So, instead of community chess, you've got good works. Mm hmm. And not a chance cards. Oh, I like this. Let's play. And um, how much does how much does each believer get? You get five thousand believers to start off with every player. I want to be Christian. Ishmael, you can't. I want it to be Buddhist. Of course, dear. We're Muslim, son. Don't touch us. My God, God, is it going to be like this forever? Who cares? God doesn't care what religion you play at. What? I'm telling you, as God's friend. He doesn't care what you believe in. He just wants people not to do stupid things. What kind of stupid things? Like killing each other over their religion. Mm. He doesn't care. It's nobody's business. Ah, stupid bloody game. Jewish. What? I'm Christian. I'll be a druid. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, take me to the money from the Thank you.